We need in our future leaders of academic public health and public health practice, the types of individuals that can come together, listen to community needs, and create solutions that can be scaled and sustained. This is what entrepreneurs are. At Loyola University, we want to be inspiring the next generation of public health leaders. The Center for Health Innovation and Entrepreneurship, in fact, the Parkinson School, has the complete right approach, is that how do you collaborate with others, both within the university, especially without the university, and how do you approach problems of public health from an interdisciplinary perspective and quickly scale innovations so that they directly impact the community and working with the community to make that happen. My name is Natrina Kennedy. I graduated from Parkinson School of Health Sciences and Public Health with a master's in public health with a concentration in health policy and management. WHI stands for the Women's Health Initiative. It is my very own nonprofit. We are 501c3, and ultimately, we are dedicated to decreasing health disparities by tackling social, economic, and um, racial barriers to health, specifically with black and brown women. Um, so that's my baby, and I founded it fresh out of undergrad at Loyola. What's really cool about what we do is that we collaborate with great partners like Matter. Matter is a leading incubator that is working with small companies, helping them generate the business model that will allow them to scale their great ideas. There's a lot we can learn from that in public health and how we think about customer-driven solutions, our community as customers, and how we think about scaling and sustaining our solutions in a very meaningful way. Matter propelled my nonprofit and me being an entrepreneur primarily through engagement with other entrepreneurs as a part of a larger cohort, specifically around healthcare innovation. Um, and so during that time, they gave me a ton of mentors for specifically eight weeks, and they let me um, ultimately pitch a healthcare innovation through my business to hundreds of stakeholders across the country. And so that was phenomenal. It connected me to other like-minded individuals. We talked about finances. We talked about community um, input and lived experience. And so how does all of that really shape the work that we're doing here around health equity? And we, we don't have the expertise to take a student's idea idea to fruition and that's where they come and work with the experts in matter and it's a really exciting collaboration. One of the things that we're doing with Loyola this year is an innovation challenge really looking to harness entrepreneurs and entrepreneurial energy to address health equity and climate change. It's wonderful that Loyola has not only a school of public health and health sciences, but also now a school of environmental sustainability where they can pull in a variety of different uh, types of expertise to really help develop, develop and frame out and flesh out this program and ultimately support entrepreneurs that can make a real difference at this nexus of, of equity and climate. Access to good health is a fundamental human right. It's a matter of social justice. And as a Jesuit university that is grounded in over 500 years of values around social justice, these needs resonate. Loyola, not only did they help with nurturing relationships, but they helped like nurture my passion, which I think people really underestimate as it relates to entrepreneurship, because that is really like the, <laughs> that's the grit of what you're doing. And so what I mean by that is from, from not just like the classes I took at Loyola, but the relationships with my professors. They're always giving me resources. They're always giving me new things to think about that might not be top of mind or might not even be in my worldview. The COVID pandemic has affected us in our community in that the community now understands what is public health and how does public health work. The COVID Equity Response Collaborative Loyola, or CIRCLE project, is a wonderful example of public health entrepreneurship. We partnered with our neighboring community in the Maywood, Berwyn area to help address the problem of access to COVID testing. And as the pandemic evolved, we evolved with our community and helped bring knowledge and answer questions as it related to the vaccine as well. The CIRCLE experience is informing how we bring forward our new Center for Health Innovation and Entrepreneurship. 
That is that we look for partnerships with community, we problem solve, design together, and then together we approach how do we sustain and continue to innovate and improve. This is really about life and death. This is really about disparities between if you live in Chicago in one zip code, you can have 30 years more of expected lifespan. The time is now to really make a difference with these innovations, and I think that's what the center will be trying to do, working with the community.